So many people ask us, uh, what kind of standard of work uh, do we usually produce? Check this little beauty out. So I had to cement board these walls up to 1200 for the tiling. Ta -da! Hello, what's going on here? All of a sudden we get this strong whiff of dog poo. Look down the stairs and someone has walked dog turd up all the stairs. Lukey's brand new drill. Amateur move, leaving it lying around. There we go. Much better. What's up YouTube? So in this video we are going to be trying something a little bit new for the channel. Uh, now uh, it was suggested by uh, some of the watchers our, our videos about uh, possibly considering doing a few uh, vlog videos, kind of almost like a day in the life of of Alex Morley, etc., so forth, just so they can see almost a little bit of the old background as to uh, some of the the stuff that we get up to. So I thought, Do you know what? Uh, today is as good as any other day. So I thought, why the hell not? So the point of this video, I just kind of really wanted to really put it out there that I'm sure all of us here tradesmen, whether plaster or not, you do have some jobs which absolutely suck and the one that I'm on at the moment and, and there's nothing actually wrong with the job itself I'm working for a really reputable company Avantgarde they're in based in Eastbourne they do really brilliant work so why does this job suck then well for a start it's a loft conversion that we're boiling and skimming straight away you, you know what I mean it's a plaster of that it's absolutely rubbish um, secondly it's in Hastings now Nothing against Hastings, but it's not my favorite place in the world. Uh, and I'm driving from Eastbourne to Hastings and it's the real back end of Hastings as well. So it takes about half an hour to get there. So again, two things already I'm not happy with. And then, so me and Luke, we started this job on Tuesday. I turn up and like most loft conversions, the access is absolute rubbish. Um, you know, it's really depressing. I turn up the boards and the plaster on the driveway. They're not in there already. And then I find out that the stairs to the loft, they're not in yet. And I'm just like, flipping heck. This is not great. And then you find out that you, to get into the loft, you have to go around the back of the building uh, to the house. And then you have to climb up a ladder, which well it's going into the loft so it's heading up to the third floor and it's a single you know single run of ladder so it's probably a good 10 meters along this ladder um, and it's all of your bags of plaster all of your tools everything they've all got to be a or you've, you've got to carry everything up this bloody ladder and then I'm like saying to the builder where, where the hell are we gonna get these boards up then and we had to open the front door, walk up the stairs, and then feed the boards through the floor, and then drag it round some absolute pain in the neck, um, different rooms to get them into the main room. Me and Luke, blipping heck, I thought we were gonna be dead at the end of it. And I just thought, you know one of those jobs you just turn up and thought, I wish I'd stayed in bed. And that is basically the uh, job we're on. Um, I will show you in a second when I arrive just how pants the access is. I mean, as it was, astonishingly, me and Luke started this job on Tuesday and uh, we managed to get a lot of the boarding done uh, in a day, even though we had to carry these boards up, we, we turned up late and we were chatting to the builder for the best part of an hour. So I'm amazed we got as much as we got done. And, uh, Luke wasn't in yesterday, so I just did a little bit of skimming um, just while I waited for him to, so we could continue the boarding. Um, 
but yeah, had it not been the fact that the builders had actually done a pretty decent job, uh, you know, the stud works all on the money, um, you know, it's all sellotext over the um, over the timber work, which is pretty standard for a loft conversion. But you know, even to the point where they've gone as far as to mark out accurately. Um, the location of all the joists and the studs. So they have actually made our life a heck of a lot easier. I think had they not, <laughs> I mean, climbing up a flipping massive ladder and then climbing through a dormer window it is not what you want for a Tuesday morning, that's for sure. But anyway, what we'll do is we will catch up um, at the point where we're at the job and you can see just how lame um, the access to it is. So we'll catch up at that point. Okay, so 30 minutes later, we have finally arrived. So let's go and have a look at this job as to why it is such a pain in the neck. Let's go and have a look. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so first thing which is really annoying, as you can see, this is where the plaster is. Plasterboard was there, but we've got it all up now. But as you can see, we are negotiating scaffold boards. And then we have to climb around here. Still going around. And then to get access to the loft, we're going up this thing. Oh, the joys of working on a loft conversion. So yeah, I'm gonna do something very dangerous. I'm going to have the camera running while I'm climbing up a ladder. This is also a bit of a pain in the neck. This pole here, you've gotta be the world's skinniest guy to get past it without smacking yourself on it. So not a great start so far. So as you can see, It's a long way down. The nice thing is, the views up here are quite nice. Sadly, there's no balcony. And then this is access into the dormer, into the loft conversion through the dormer. Hello, let's do that again. It's like a little reveal. Whee! So, this here is the crime scene. Did a little bit of uh, plastering yesterday. Haven't done anything in here, and here is the dumping ground. So, this is having cement board going all around it. Let me grab the light. So this is having cement board all around it at 1200 and then plasterboard, and then there is a steel above, so that's being fire-checked, uh, standard grey board. Uh, quite interestingly, there is a, um, what's it called, a Velux going in there, but they haven't battened it out properly, so probably gonna have to speak to the uh, builder about that. And then, round here, round here, and round here. But the bit that I really love, the real pizza of resistance, is the uh, the area that we have to get the boards uh, up whenever we need them. Oh, what's under here? This suspicious looking dust sheet. Ta -da! So we have to pull these dodgy looking boards back and then feed them up from down there. So yeah. Not a great start. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, because this is Hastings, parking is terrible, and it's two hours, no return, within two hours, uh, unless you've got a permit, of which I don't have one. So, so uh, I've just been risking it with a sign on the door, and hopefully, or so far at least, uh, I've got away with it. But anyway, that is the job. It completely sucks. I cannot wait to get out of there. Here he is. The man, the myth, the legend, the lazy bastard. 
It is Lukey, everybody. Turning up at 10 minutes past 11. It's time to call this then. Is that your skip? Pat Bell, is that a guy in the pub? It's a good thing the builder doesn't watch our channel, isn't it? Oh wait, he does. That mattress in as well. <laughs> so I literally just turned off the camera and Luke went to throw a pack of plaster in the skip and completely missed. Nice one, Luke. You can really see your ball patch on the top of your head from up here. How's the new impact driver? Let me see. Let me see. Oh. Yeah, that's probably why it was only 50 quid. <laughs> so, <coughs> so it's now 11.14 and uh, Lukey has only just turned up for work. So you're probably telling him he's fired, lazy git. I'm sure I'll probably use some excuse if you had to do the school run or something like that. So, tell me, Lukey. Tell me more. What do you think of the access to this job? Um, mint, lad. Safe as houses. Pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Especially when the ladder's covered in dog shit. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot to say that. Yeah, yes. No, it was Tuesday, wasn't it, Lukey? So, me and Lukey... Oh, we're going to go in the abyss. Hello. So, me and, me and Lukey, we're bumping up boards <laughs> up the customer's stairwell inside their house. All of a sudden, we get this strong whiff of dog poo. Look down the stairs, and someone has walked dog turd up all the stairs. So Luke's like to the main builder, I'll oh, check your shoes, someone's trodden poo. Me and Luke, we're clean. And the builder's like, no, my, my shoes are clean, blah, 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 blah. So Luke goes on to the builder, I'll just let the homeowner know, because it's literally crap all upstairs. Homeowner's cool with it, she'll clean it. Then Luke goes around the back to that ladder you just seen. <laughs> and there is dog poo up the whole of the ladder. Literally every rung is just covered in dog crap. And what did the builder then go and say, Lukey? Oh yeah, it's me. <laughs> and then he's, yeah, he's like, oh yeah, it was me after all. And apparently he'd looked at his uh, shoes and there was none. And then miraculously there turned... Uh, turned up to be poo on his you after Luke had found all this crap up the uh, ladder. what did he do after that? <laughs> Went up. Yeah. Do you think having poo on every rung you clean it up? No, he just chipped off and was like, okay, see you later. And then he went home and just left this poo on the blooming ladder, which, given it chucked it down yesterday, uh, last night and today, and there is still poo on the ladder, there was that much on them. So... <laughs> Thanks for that, Lucas. We really enjoyed walking in that all day. 70 quid, them batteries. Let's, let's see. Lukey's got himself a nice new drill. Look at that. Black Friday, 54 quid. Oh. She deserves a new bit, but I haven't got one. She is a virgin impact drill over. Never been used. Where's your other one, Lukey? In the bin. So many people ask us uh, what kind of standard of work 
uh, do we usually produce. Check this little beauty out. So I had to cement board these walls up to 1200 for the tiling. Ta -da! Hello. What's going on here? Luke, he's just come in and complained about this. Ooh, that's like a good eight mil there. Probably should pack that out. Only the best from Alex Molly Plastering. Luke's turned up at 11.14 <laughs> and he's already putting right the work I did this morning. Leave that M1 on and just do this one. <laughs> Tell me, Lukey, how's the new drill? Yes, yeah, mint, mint, mint. Looks lovely, that does. Oh, look at that light. That is so nice. I like how the first time I use it, it's preparing something you <laughs> Quality work oh. by Alex Morley. At least Morley. that'll bring that up much there as well. <laughs> I know, I thought, ah, oh, look at that beautiful gap there. Half track will cover that. Are you, try are you trying to say what I've done's a bit shoddy? You know how the saying goes, my friend. You can't, you can't see it from my house. That's what if you go like that? <laughs> look at Lukey go. So this is actually what I should have done. But... Sadly, I was suffering from what is called the CBA disease, also known as the can't be arsed disease. Lukey's brand new drill, amateur move, leaving it lying around. There we go. Much better. That's because you are a complete muppet. Guess what Lukey just did? <laughs> what did you do, Lukey? I thought it would last a little fall like that and it didn't. So, so did you carefully place the bag of dab down? No. What did you do? It rolled off my shoulder. <laughs> With propulsion, you mean? Not really. You absolute moron. We just add some water to it there and use this bucket trail. We won't need to use buckets. Well, so use the floor as a spot board? Yeah. Nice. What was that all about? Put dust sheets down. Did you put so, dust sheets down? No. Put dust sheets down so it stays nice and clean. And then you make that mess. Look at that. Who's cleaning it? It's going to get you. Who's cleaning out then? I'm going to put it in a bucket, I'm going to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like you know it's going to be a bad day when you wake up in the morning to make your lunch and then you realise you run out of bed, bread. So you have to do this. Oh, 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 there goes the ham. You have to turn the crust the other Who way does around. That? Why don't you just put it the other way around? Well, because then I have this horrible, disgusting, crusty. It hits the top of your mouth rather than being on the inside. That's a good idea. I know, I'm full of good ideas, but I feel like you know it's going to be a rubbish day when um, you've got to use a crust for a sandwich, you know what I mean? Luke's not enjoying the job either, are you, mate? Not today, mate. No. It's because you turned up at what time is it? Oh, yeah, quarter past 11. Mm. By the way, you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Now my sandwich is falling apart. So, good thing is we're going home soon because we worked that hard. Who needs a shovel when you've got a dustpan? Oh, nice. You've made a right mess there, mate. I'm going to be honest, I'm disappointed. I'm just going to knock it out of my hand. Mate. You're just gonna like let it run through your fingers. Do you know the funny thing is, everyone sees these nicely polished videos, but they don't actually realize most of our day consists of this. Clearing up mesh. Clearing this mess up that we've made. 
plastic. See, in the background, we're actually pretty rubbish. We just screw stuff up all the time. You're right there, mate. Yeah. Do you want to carry the bucket? What are you doing? Putting, trying to pull the bottom out because it's not too much. Is that because you're rubbish? Yeah. Doesn't look like you've done a very good job. No. <laughs> what are you planning on? <laughs> what plan keeps bouncing out, look. Huh? What are you planning on doing? Put the other half of the board up tomorrow. I might just screw that in. <laughs> Flipping heck. We've heard of expansion joints. Christ, look at that. Ooh. Ooh. What's the plan for that then? Scrim that? Yeah. Looks great, that does, mate. Mm -hmm. You are as rough as ourselves, you are. Right, so this room is done. Ta -da! All I'm gonna say is, don't pay attention to that gap there. That's Luke's masterpiece, as you can see. So we actually got most of the work smashed out pretty quick. And then we had the world's longest lunch. Uh, we were gonna one set this, but pretty sure getting up in there is gonna be pain, a pain in the butt. So uh, we probably won't. The other thing which is quite amusing as well, you may have noticed some of the eagle-eyed viewers. This here is for a sliding pocket guard. You know the only problem with these? Check this out. How bouncy that is. Probably looks way worse because the camera's shaking. What's really funny is all of this here is being tiled. I think there's a shower going here, so it um, would be very funny if the tiles start falling off the wall. But hey ho, uh, I think me and Luke, we're pretty much done for the day. We can't bother to do anymore. So we are going to plaster this room tomorrow and we are going to plaster the last few bits on the outside room and then that will be us done for the weekend. So there you have it, the first vlog that we have done on the channel, uh, a day in the life of Alex Morley. Uh, that's really what goes on in the uh, in the background. Usually we're just uh, taking the mickey out of each other. It's usually a, a good laugh in between the uh, more polished, more refined uh, tutorial videos uh, that we do. So uh, thanks so much for watching. We hope uh, you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you would like us to continue making these uh, vlog videos, more of the background uh, of what goes on when we're working, uh, leave a comment in the, um, the in the comment section of the video just to let us know if this is more of the content that you uh, want us to start creating uh, on the channel and it's something that we can uh, uh, look into for 2023. So thank you so much for watching. Consider uh, giving it a thumbs up and subscribing and we look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks again.